Martinez, who is a slapper at the bottom of the order, misses that one. She was hit by a pitch in her first at bat and was thrown out by Jake Wish on a bunt last time. This time she takes a full swing and rams it past Surrett for a base hit. Martinez is good at the bottom of the order. She's batting 328. <laughs> Just punches that ball right over Surrett's glove. Gets that ball. Gets drawn in yeah. with and, the slapper. And she got all slappers left that high pitch. Anything in their eyes, they, they, they will not not swing. Martinez has stolen eight of nine bases this year on a team that does not run a lot. She is the second leading base stealer for the Cajuns. Ball one to Kara Grimion. It was one for three. She got that productive fifth inning started with a base hit and later scored on a Haley Hayden RBI and then three more scored on the D.J. Sanders three-run home run. The 1-1. One, one. Surrett picks it up. Goes to Quinn who drops the ball at second base. Quinn had to lean and take a knee-high throw, kind of stretched out toward left field, and the ball popped out of her glove. Surrett makes a nice stab here on a worm burner. A little low, but, you know, it'll be interesting to see who they put this air on, because I, I just think Constance Quinn is a good enough athlete to catch that ball. But I'm wrong. <laughs> I'm not the official scorer. They have ruled a throwing error on Sanchez. So it'll be a fielder's choice and a throwing error on Sanchez. Here's Creighton, who is one for three. She has struck out twice and single. There's the slow breaking pitch again. Tigers now have three errors in this game, and they have been costly. All three have been on very tough chances, however, but nonetheless, they have resulted in opportunities for the Cajuns. 1-1. One, one. Bang down to Sanchez. Oh, Maya Samaya. She makes the play at third. Sanchez had the presence of mind to find that ball burrowing for it like a gopher and then makes the diving play back at third. Now that ULL, right Ooh, that's close. Very close. But you, what a play by Sanchez. She has been blistered the last two uh, batters. Uh, Karina might want to come out here and talk to Wal, Wal Jasper because Cajun seem to be finding the key here to Wal Jasper. Here's Haley Hayden who's two for three with an RBI and a run scored. Constance Quinn is under this pop-up, and that's the third out. So the Cajuns threaten in the sixth, but they leave two aboard. The bottom of the sixth inning is straight ahead on ESPN3. ULL4, LSU2. Kelly Martinez, the outfielder for the Ragin' Cajuns, she was called out on a very close play as Amber Surrett makes this pickup. Watch how close this is with Surrett diving to the bag. Who gets there first? See, I think the dirt is being kicked up by Martinez. So, and the and Blue's right there. I think she's out. It's very, very close. And Martinez is charged with beating the play to third base, not tying, but beating it. If she's not the fastest Cajun on the team, I want to know who is because she can run. LSU has six outs left to erase a two-nothing.